back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Yo full time family. This is actually going to be a really fun fight and when I tell you a couple details you might not know gonna make you that much more interested in it but first Clay Guida man this is gonna be a dope fight for him and a chance for him to be on maybe the first three fight winning streak in his UFC career if I'm not mistaken I know he's right now on a two fight winning streak over Eric Koch and Joe Lozano uh Joe Lazone and that's his first two fight winning streak since dating back to 2011 and so Clay Guida is looking to continue that momentum with the win over Bobby Green who also is coming off of a win over Eric Koch, even though um, Clay Guida has a win over Joe Lazone more recently. Both of these guys have a recent win over Eric Koch. Bobby Green has um, only been able to fight like one time a year due to injury and set, you know, injury setbacks. So he hasn't been able to be very active. And before getting that win over Eric Koch, I believe he might have been on a four fight losing streak, if I'm not mistaken. But he's going to be coming in looking to get another win over Clay Guida. Now, um, this fight's added to UFC 225, and as I that's right, this was the fight I was trying to remember earlier. Uh, there was, a, I believe, going to be this is going to be the last fight added to UFC 225, if I'm not mistaken. But if you look at that card on paper, it is insane, bro. Every single fight, including this one. Now, not only because you have Clay Guida, UFC veteran and fan favorite in this fight, but also. There's a little bit of a big drama show behind the scenes with this fight. Check this out. If you recall, Bobby Green was calling out Eddie Alvarez, you know, he to defend Nate Diaz and the Diaz brothers' honor because he's a longtime friend of the Diaz brothers and stuff like that. I mean, back in the day, they used to be say, say they were cousins, or not they said it, but people asked. And they're not cousins, clearly. But Bobby Green is friends with the Diaz brothers, right? And so whenever people come out and they're trying to call out the Diaz brothers because now now they're a lottery ticket he's been a guy like saying man you know fuck you guys they're, they're out there you guys are only calling them out you're clout chasing how about you fight me if you're not just wanting to fight them because their name is big then come fight me so he wanted to fight eddie alvarez eddie alvarez you know it didn't necessarily the clearly the fight doesn't necessarily make sense for eddie alvarez who's a top ranked to lightweight but at the same time, now Clay Guido recently called out Nate Diaz. Remember, he was riding the bike like, what up, 209 bitch? Like, you know, what up? Like, come fight me. Do the boom. So Clay Guido recently is a guy that's been disrespecting Nate Diaz, calling him out. And so now Bobby Green's going to come get to fight somebody that's been calling out Nate Diaz and disrespecting Nate Diaz and kind of defend the Diaz brothers' honor in this fight. So that's going to be a little added interest to this fight between Clay Guido and Bobby Green. So with that being said... Clay Guida vs. Bobby Green is slated for UFC 225, which is of course headlined by Whitaker Romero 2, and another title fight, Covington RDA interim title fight, also seeing Punks on the card versus Mike Jackson, hashtag War Punk, don't forget Curtis Blades vs. Overeem, I mean we could go on and on about UFC 225, it's pretty stacked though, let the full time family know what you think in the comments about Clay Guida vs. Bobby Green, I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. This is number one bullshit.